your major projects which are you are doing in the uh, in, in the final stage of the training as well as after going into the organization as i mean like i uh, start working in the projects as well you have to have this as a main one because and every screen in sap is designed based on the principles that you're talking about right now in the module pool programming so what exactly we do here is we design the screens and on the screens either we can display the data or we can enter the data and that can be saved in the back end okay so we design screens and we enter some data and that gets saved in the back end in the database tables this is what we can do in the module pool programming so for module pool programming we need to use certain transaction codes the first transaction code that we use is se38 obviously wherein we design and create a module pool program not executable program module pool program so we'll be creating a module pool program so we created executable programs we created the include programs now we are creating the module pool programs so and then we go to sc51 to design the screen so design screens is done on sc51 and se90 93 transaction you're going to create your own transaction code so there is only one way you can execute this uh, module pool program it is through the transaction code I, you cannot execute it directly okay you cannot execute a module pool program directly you have to create a transaction code for this so we mandatorily have to use these three transactions or in this case you can also create sc80 you can also make use of sc80 if you make use of sc80 everything can be done from sc80 only you don't have to go to sc38 even the screens also can be designed from sc80 now what we'll do is we'll do a very simple example of module pool in which we are going to design a screen and display some uh, text in that okay uh, with this what we are what we are going to do is we are going to understand the flow of the program that's it okay this is not a project or something we just understanding the steps first we'll go to sc38 create a program Ex uh, this module pool program then we go to sc51 design a screen and we'll write some key simple text and we'll go for sc93 and create a transaction code and attach it to it and see how it works this happens to be a very simple basic uh, dialog program which we are going to design now is my voice clear Yes, sir. Okay, okay, fine. Yeah. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll just log in into the SAP system, and now let me, uh, let me just go through the steps that we follow for all the module pool programs. No matter how complex is it, the steps are common. We'll go to first SC38, and I create something like ZVA underscore MP1, ZVA underscore MP1 module pool. Execute. No, I'm sorry. so it need it should not be executed it should be now module pool program okay so we have to create a module pool program here and then say save and i do have a package as well so i'll save it under that and i'm not doing anything in the program i'm just activating it not doing anything in the program remember that i'm not doing anything in the program as of now in this particular scenario go to se51 where we create the module pool screens and here we need to give the exact program name that we have created here and once we give this we have an option of creating screen numbers from all zeros to all nines means exactly 10000 screens we can design all zeros to all nines so it will be equal into 10000 okay 10000 because 000 also will add right so 1 to 999 plus 0 okay so 10000 screens we can design but we, it is a general practice that we start the screen numbers from 100 so we normally take it like this 100 200 300 400 something like that so we'll uncomment this modules so we'll get modules here and we need to discuss about this events actually these events process before output process after input these are the mandatory two events 
and then we'll have optional events called process on help request process and value request so we are going to discuss more about these things uh, once we've done the project in this uh, exercise now so we have p process before output process after input process on help request process on value request so these are the four events in these four events POH and POV happens to be optional. POH and POV, process on help request and process on value request are optional. Okay, so we have the save, syntax check, activate. Now, we have designed, uh, I mean like we, we came into the uh, SE51 transaction, we have just given the attributes and then we came here, uncommented these modules and then we need to go to the layout. In the layout, I'll just design one simple text. I'm designing simple text here. Click on text. I'll write this text one. Hi. I am um, this is a text I'm writing here. Save, activate, back. Now here, you just need to double click on this. So when you double click on this, you need to make sure you are out of the program. You come out of the program. You should not be in the program. You, you should come out of the program. So double click on this. Say yes. Select this, say OK. Then this is what we have. Save, back, double click on this, save yes, select this, OK, save, save and activate. So once this is done, OK, so these modules need to be replicated into our program and you cannot execute it. Okay, if you execute it, it says this is not an executable program. What is this program? It's a module pool program. So it's not an executable program. So this is of type M, so you cannot execute it. So what we have to do is we have to go for SC93, create a transaction code for this, and I'll create it as ZVA P1. Create. Okay, this is... Uh, module pool 1 click on select program and selection screen just say ok and in this we need to give the program name here and the program name is zve underscore mp1 no sorry this when we are creating a transaction code we need to create as a module pool screen screen and dialog okay so program and dialog dialog transaction okay you need to select the first one by default the first one only will be selected so for normal program we change it to selection screen but now here we need to go for the first one only so here this is mp1 so okay now here you need to give the program name and then the screen number can be accessed if you click on this you get this screen number save it um yeah save it to the package okay and then we go for zbat1 so when you create zvat1 and enter that screen comes with that name uh, hi i'm vikramaditya okay there's no back button and all enabled so we need to enable all these things okay we'll do that later but this is the concept that we have done now and this is what we need to do it uh, in your system so that we can understand just the flow of the module program so that we can do the projects in the same way 